Welcome back, y'all. This is Father Mark, and this week we've been talking about how life can be messy as we've been unpacking the parable from Jesus of the weeds and the wheat. Yesterday we talked about how life doesn't meet our expectations, and today we want to talk about three things that we can do to live life with greater joy in the midst of those unmet expectations and in the midst of the mess. Number one, admit your weakness. Number two, ask for forgiveness. And number three, forgive with generosity. How about in the next 60 seconds, we dive deep in those three things and unpack how we can live life with greater joy. First of all, we just need to admit that we were made for joy. God wants us to be happy. God wants us to be fully alive. The joy is already there. But a lot of times what prevents us from tasting that joy is our perception of our own weakness. None of us are perfect. And oftentimes, whether we know it or not, we're trying to strive to expectations we have of ourselves or perhaps expectations that other people have of us. None of us are perfect. We're all weak. And as soon as we admit the fact that we are ordinary human beings on the journey together and we're never going to be perfect, then life just gets easier. Number two, ask for forgiveness. In other words, there are consequences in our relationships with other people because of our weakness and their weakness. And if we're going to live life with greater joy, we have to learn how to let go, which we'll talk about a lot tomorrow. But asking for forgiveness is a key thing in our restoration of relationships and our ability to taste the joy in life. And number three, forgive with generosity. Hey, we don't meet our expectations. Other people won't. And the faster that you and I can forgive other people, the freer you and I will be and the more joy we'll have in our life. Three things that we can do today to live life with greater joy. Number one, admit your weakness. Number two, ask for forgiveness. And number three, forgive with generosity. How about you come on back tomorrow as we talk about the absolute number one thing that you can do to live life with freedom. And until we see you then, God bless you.